Hi. Today I want to show you how um, I'm going to try and correct a very beginner's mistake that I've made. Now you can see from this reference picture that I've gone way too dark. This is the this is the darkness I'm going to try and correct this. I'm going to use maybe one or two methods to do that. Now the first one is I'm going to go back to the very lightest grey which I call my 2% light grey, the one I mix myself and take this out. If this doesn't work then the other thing I can do is to go back to the white. Now I when I first um, treated this card I put a coat of Illustration, Createx Illustration White all over it so that if I wanted to go back to white I had the exact same paint white to colour match it to rather than the white of the paper which could be different to the, to the white of the paint. There are so many different shades of white it really is incredible. So I've, that's where my banker came from the idea that if I needed to correct as I do here if the worst comes to the worst, if my light grey doesn't work, I can take it right back down to the white, which is what I originally coated my, um, my card with in the first place. So this white here is not the white of the card, it's the white of paint. So there you go. First of all, I'm going to try the light grey, see if I can rescue it by doing it with that. And of course, remember, I'm using opaque paints, so they do cover up. So the chances are very good I'm going to be able to rescue this. The other thing of course I can do is just say okay made a mistake, forget it, go back and start again. I've got my original, take what I've learned from this and apply it to a new one. One thing I also learned that this eye over here was the wrong shape. It was actually coming down too low and it kind of looked a bit like a droopy, you know, a bit like a droopy eye, it wasn't pleasant. So that's another thing I've learned, so from the original I'd have to change that from what I trace over so that it brings it up. Now of course you can always make these changes as you go along if you find things out. So this is what I'm going to try and do today and um, I'm using my SOTAR 2020. Now this is actually a, a, a detail airbrush that's what I'm using. I've already loaded it with a light grey paint. I'm starting by going over all the areas that have gone too dark. I'm doing this in light layers. I'm not concentrating heavily with paint in one particular place so that I can let the paint dry and I'm not going to get any, um, any paint being too thick or it's starting to uh, skit across the paper or being blown across. Um, so just doing it slowly, um, moving around to different parts of the painting and allowing the paint to dry um, when I move on to different areas. And I'll come back, you'll see me do this during it. And as I said, going in light layers over it, so I'm not putting really thick down paint uh, in one go um, which could also cause more problems than, um, than it actually solves. As you've already probably noticed, the video is speeded up so that you don't have to watch it in complete real time. I'm going to put one of my songs on in the background and um, I hope you enjoy.
From your toes to your hips, from your shoulders to your lips you enjoyed my song Optic Fibre Love. It was me singing. And now back to the correction video. Okay, that's as far as I'm going to take it today. As you can see, this is now looking a lot better. If you remember how dark it was. Here's a reminder. But you can see how I've taken out all those really, what I could consider horrendously dark lines. I've left some in. I've tried to blend it so that uh, you still get some definition but it's taken away that ha really harshness because you can see on here how light in general this picture is there's an awful lot of light flooding through so where you do get the shadows they're very intense anyway so as you can see the Comart opaque paints you can take it back down so instead of having to screw it up and throw it away start all over again I've gone back in this is a learning process and anything that I can do at this point will help me understand how the paint works when I'm spraying it how I'm spraying it I was quite surprised the SOTAR 2020 did a reasonable job but I just wanted to show you that yeah it's very easy to make the mistake going too dark that's why you hear over and over again do very light, reduce your paint down further and do very light layers and build it up. Now I went in way too dark and now I'm trying to fix it. We shall see when I go in with the next colours how much that this tones down this which still looks fairly dark compared to the original of course but how when I go in with the really dark colours how that tones down this and pulls out the dark. So very curious to see what happens with that. In the meantime, I hope this has helped and um, I shall see you soon. Here is the too dark again. Here is the corrected light version again. Too dark. Corrected. And here is the final picture of Lauren Bacall. Bye.